Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the 31st of January. James Spann, a different kind of day today with the sun coming back in full force. We'll check with some of the uh, Skycam shots around the network early this morning at 5 o'clock and uh, definitely a lot calmer 24 hours ago. Was stormy, severe weather, temperatures around 70 this morning, around freezing. That's the Birmingham Skycam. There's the uh, Tuscaloosa camera. And look at downtown Fayette. Well, they had a lot of wind damage in the county early yesterday with trees and lines down. Uh, well, there's your trough over the east. That's a cold look right there. And uh, an Alberta Clipper is going to come down the pike tonight and uh, set up a very cold day tomorrow. This morning, temperatures are right around freezing in most spots. Uh, Birmingham 34, the cold spot, Haleyville at 28. But up north, you can see that new surge of very, very cold air coming down the pike. And up there, they've got wind chill advisories and warnings for the Dakotas and Minnesota, the upper Midwest, where uh, wind chill indices way, way, way below zero. And we're going to feel that air tomorrow. This is the rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday morning of next week, uh, next week, showing a little bit, about a tenth of an inch, and that would be with a front easing in here uh, Saturday night, late Saturday afternoon. And uh, that's probably about right. It's not going to rain a lot with that. Look at modeling. This is the uh, 06 EGFS at noon today. Uh, the energy that brought the severe weather yesterday moving away from us. And uh, down below that, just a cool and dry day. Uh, the sky should be mostly sunny today, sunny today with a high in 50 in most locations. Uh, but uh, to the north, it's so cold. And look at this now. All right, This is just after midnight tonight off the RPM with that clipper. Yeah. Snow showers. Over northeast Alabama, I think that could happen. Of course, there's hardly any moisture, but uh, we've watched these things many, many, many times over the years, and they can do things like this. So I think a snow shower, a distinct possibility for some place like Huntsville, Scottsboro, Fort Payne, maybe Gadsden, but for Birmingham, uh, unlikely. And most people sleep through it anyway, and there should not be any accumulation. And then tomorrow, that new surge of cold air drops in here. The NAM is showing a high of only 40 for Birmingham and areas north of Birmingham won't get out of the 30s. It's a 1,034 millibar high sitting at uh, Memphis. And uh, Saturday morning will be cold. We'll expect mid 20s. Then during the day Saturday, uh, it will be a cool day with low 50s and clouds will increase. And it looks like we'll definitely need to mention some chance of light rain by mid to late afternoon Saturday. And again, I don't think it rains a whole lot. Uh, this is Saturday night at midnight. A little batch of light rain coming in here. Critical thickness line is up in the northeastern corner. And again, there could be a snowflake maybe up in that northeastern part of the state. Uh, I don't think so for the Birmingham Metro. And then Sunday, we are in a new surge of drier air. And not necessarily cooler air. High temperatures would be very close to seasonal averages. Highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s on Sunday. Uh, so, again, mostly dry for the weekend, but yes, a chance of some light rain late Saturday or Saturday evening. And I uh, thought to look at the uh, RPM model as the front comes in here uh, Saturday evening. And there's that light rain for us, but again, up in the northeastern corner, you can see maybe some evidence of uh, a snowflake or two with a better chance of snowflakes with that thing onto the northeast over eastern Tennessee and uh, far north Georgia, the mountains of West Carolina. All right, let's go to Monday. Should be a nice day. We'll start the day probably in the 20s, the high in the 50s. Tuesday of next week, nice and quiet. Thickness values coming up. Uh, we might touch 60 on Tuesday, and this is Wednesday. As we get deeper into February, again, the skies should be uh, partly sunny and maybe low to mid-60s in a week from today. A nice southerly breeze, uh, low to mid-60s there, so that'll be good. Uh, moisture returning off to the west. What, there are about five more days. This is the 12th of February, deep upper low around Lake Texoma. A big surface low that's uh, near Meridian. And if this is right, that would be a very wet setup for us. And a big snow setup maybe for Fort Smith and Fayetteville and Tulsa, Oklahoma, if this happens to be correct. And this is out there in the land of voodoo. And then the end of the forecast on the 15th, again, that looks temperatures about where they should be for this time of the year. So, 
Uh, we'll get a good cold shot tomorrow, but beyond that, no sign of any excessively cold blasts through mid-month, at least on that uh, uh, deterministic run of the GFS. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget, you can watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.